What's up guys, down here on my channel Gear Inc. where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you. And on my channel, that's PC Tech Games and Gear. And today we're talking about whether or not it is worth the upgrade from Ryzen to Ryzen Plus, supposedly dropping April 19th. Now, all the information we have so far is purely rumor. We don't have any concrete data, but I do believe that at least what's come out so far is in the ballpark, and based off that, we can draw some conclusions. Now, if you haven't been paying attention, Ryzen 2 supposedly is going to be 18% uh, faster across the board, most of that coming from um, you know multi-threaded tasks. However, we did, if there, again, if these uh, data points are true, see that there was a definite improvement from single core from previous generation of about 30 points, which is fairly significant as it gets much closer to what Intel currently has to offer. Offer. In multi-threaded, we definitely see a marked improvement up to about 15%, which is dramatic from what it was before. Even with all of that, including the supposed boost clocks that we're going to see, there's really only a couple of valid reasons that I personally would buy a new CPU as I currently have the 1700X. Overclocking and then honestly, single core performance are the two most important things to me if I'm gonna be buying one of these new CPUs and having to sell my old one. So when we're looking at the SKU, you'll see that in terms of boost clock, there is some better ones for like the 1700 and the 1600, but there's only really two CPU lineups here that I feel would dictate spending more money, and that is the 1700X and the 1600X. And here's the reason why. When you look at the boost clocks that we've seen so far with the you know linked uh, data, what you'll notice is that they're pretty close to what current gen Ryzen has to offer. A little bit higher in terms of the boost, which maybe means you can get a little bit higher of overclocking. But as anyone can tell you who's currently on Ryzen, 4.0 was kind of the threshold for a lot of overclockers. Getting 4.1 was very difficult. And so if all we're seeing is a 100 megahertz increase with no guarantee that we'll be able to hit higher clocks, especially because both of those CPUs have lower TDPs, to me, that is not a valid enough reason to spend the money, especially considering that current Ryzen CPU prices have dropped and may drop further as much as $130 on the 1700X from when it first released and the 1600X being about $50 cheaper than when it first released. So when we're talking about value, it's kind of hard to justify the cost. However, the 1700X and the 1600X are in a position where it may be worth upgrading your CPU and getting rid of what you currently have simply due to the fact that it does have a higher boost clock, it does supposedly have a higher um, single core performance, and we should be able to overclock those CPUs much more than the current generation, hopefully up to 4.5, although there's unconfirmed that 4.4 should be fairly easy to obtain. So. When we're talking about buying these new CPUs, again, if you're doing an upgrade from an older um, AMD system, definitely a good time to get in it. You will be able to buy the current line of CPUs much cheaper and probably in another month the price will go down when these supposedly drop. Or if you've been waiting for a Ryzen 2, you can definitely hop on that as well. And then if you are on the older side of Intel, um, you know, it's one of those things that maybe you want to consider making the switch to the platform. But obviously Coffee Lake still is the fastest in terms of single core performance, although we supposedly were supposed to see an eight core variant coming out at some point, but we haven't heard anything about that in a couple of months. So I hope Intel has something to offer coming into this year, but we're gonna have to wait and see. So anyway, guys, that's just my opinion in terms of should you upgrade. Again, the two I would do was the 1700X and the 1600X due to them offering better overclocking among some other things that interest me. So if you like this video, leave me a big thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and leave me a thumbs down, but get subscribed, guys. My channel is continuing to grow. We hit 7,000 subscribers. Thank you to every single one of you guys who made that possible. Remember, 7,500 subscribers by 2018. We're doing another giveaway. Join the APU giveaway going on right now in the description below if you haven't already for the 2400G. Thank you all my Patreons and thank you everyone who continues to use my Amazon affiliate links. Guys, if you're buying anything on Amazon, use my link. If you want to support my channel, all that money goes back into giveaways and the growth of the channel itself. Let's hit 7,500 and we hope to see you next time here on Geared Inc.